Hello, I'm Dr. Alveda King, Director of African American Outreach with Priest for Life. Today I want to speak with you about a very serious topic. It's genocide of the young children of the world. In America, we're most familiar with the scourge of abortion that kills millions of little babies in the womb of their mothers before they can even be born. We know now in America that women are also dying from these acts of abortion. And then in China, we know about sex selection abortions, little girls who are never allowed to live because they want more boys than girls. And then all across the globe, something that we don't necessarily connect to the issue of genocide, and that is sex trafficking. We would like to believe that slavery in the world has ended in the 21st century, and yet little children are being abducted from their cities and their towns and carried and sold into sex trafficking, sex slavery. Very often, not always, but many times, these are little children who are determined to be or considered to be unwanted, unneeded, and unnecessary. When I say little children, I don't necessarily mean the little babies in the womb or the little girl babies who are aborted or killed at birth in China, but little girls and little boys who are a little bit older, and some of them are just approaching puberty. Some of them are young teenagers, and yet, they are being grabbed out of their cities, their towns, and their communities, and forced into heinous acts as sex slaves, sex trafficking. Now, many of us would like to bury our heads in the sand and pretend that this is only just fodder for movies, things that people put in the movies and make up. But all of these types of incidents are occurring in our nation and in our world. I don't want you to feel hopeless, however. There is something that we can do. That's why I'm taking the time to talk with you. Please contact those people who you voted for, or maybe you didn't vote for them, but they're in office across America and in seats of high authority across the world. Let them hear from you that we are very disturbed about these issues. And also continue to pray and let God know how sorry we are for our own sins. And according to 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if God's people who are called by God's name, if we'll humble ourselves and pray and turn from our wicked ways and seek God's face, he will hear from heaven and he'll forgive our sins and he will heal our land. So let God hear from us in prayer, repentant prayer, and let's pray for a revival, for compassion. The scourge of pornography, for example, is showing up in everything, even the little children's cartoons. And it's making the children so vulnerable, where they should be able to trust their neighbors, where they should be able to love their neighbors as they love themselves. They are now being preyed upon by predators across the globe. And so we're going to be praying throughout the year, throughout the days ahead, that God will indeed hear our cry, that sex trafficking will end, that abortion will end, that sex selection will end, the scourge of uh, misrepresenting God's desire for us as human beings to love each other and to procreate and to raise godly families who fear and love God and love each other. I know that this time, this particular message is a little more serious than some of my messages have been but we are living in very serious times. However, as my grandfather, Dr. Martin Luther King Sr. used to say, when things look bad, don't look down. Keep looking up for where our help comes from. And our help comes from the Lord. God bless you. Dr. Alveda King, Director of African American Outreach, Priest for Life.